know he has four more days, isn't he? Come on now. He still got more stuff for me. And I'm on the way. And then the next year, oh, yeah. if I don't get off, oh, yeah. I get in that oh, yeah. right
a word from the Lord? Yes, there is a word from the Lord. Get your Bible, your notepad, your pen, your pencil. Let's dig into the word. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Second of the three. Let's read in voice one. We're still talking about faith in the time of crisis. And um, I, I, I believe um, I already suck a lot out of the scripture. You know, it's still a lot more, but um, today would be my last. Amen? I want me to do something else. Um, I, 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 um, I glad our bishop said, we can teach faith. Amen? Amen. Second Timothy 3, verse 1 said, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Amen? Amen. In the Amplified read, But understand this, that in the last days, dangerous times of great stress and trouble will come. Difficult days that will be hard to bear. Wow. Mm. Hard to bear. Hard to bear. Right. Next translation. You must understand this. In the last days, there will be violent periods of time. The Living Bible. You may as well know this too, Timothy. That in the last days, it is going to be very difficult to be a Christian. Wow. Now last one. That's the Passion Translation. But you need to be aware that in the final days, the culture or society will be extremely fast, difficult for the people of God. Now, I just can't leave you all there because I just give you a doom and gloom message telling the church, or oh, difficult time to come just for the Christians. What do you do when you are in adversity. What do you do? Hmm. What do you do? How do you handle adversity? How do you respond when when we in these difficult and trying times? What do you do? Talk to me. What do you do? You know, I, I always like um that question. The question that to say, boy, I can't wait to hear the answer. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You know, Pastor Randy, it being hard this year. You talk about the double double. You, 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 you talk about this double double and all that. We sing and we praise and all of this stuff. And then this happened. Difficult times happened. Some people was out of job. Thank God the hotel industry opened back up for some. And people are working. But in that time, what do you do? What do you do? And um, sometimes when you talk to people and when you give them this Bible, they don't want to hear that. Because I'm in this now. You know? And I know sometimes you could feel like, oh, you're squeezing this more. Yeah. You know? You, you, and what do you do? And um, I remember just looking at um, where I live now. And I, I remember cleaning up. It was one time we had to clean water. Water, the water just couldn't stop from running. You know, thank God um, the bill, thank God um, that water bill, it wasn't a bill, but the water just was running and, um, and um, I don't hardly do cleaning up, but I had to clean up that morning. And I was mopping up water and water and, um, and what happened was I felt faint, if you all know what I mean. Just, you know, just mopping up this water and this gentleman came over and um, he's supposed to be the plumber and he tell me he'll be here Monday. And I was like Saturday when I had to mop up all that water. And what that gentleman gave me was hope. Amen. He gave me hope. Mm -hmm. So although I still have the wood through Sunday, right. yeah. I know in that he'll be there Monday. Mm -hmm. So some of us will feel like that's whole six or seven months done going now. And you know, but we still got four more days. Yes, sir. Still got four more days. Amen. You still here? Hello. Look how good you all look. Jesus. I don't think some of you all see how you all look. Yeah. Look at Minister Lisa. Jesus. She blooming. Pastor Elnor say, that's why she stay young. Amen. She laughs. Yes. And there's a message I want to give to you all. 
That's good, bro. You all look good, man. Thank you. And I don't say that to just to say Pastor Randy saying that. No, you all really look good. Thank you. But now, watch it now. But Pastor Randy, you can say I look good, but I don't feel good. Boy, you better play the part. Yes, play the part. Yes, sir. Woo! Play it until. Yes. Until it come out. Yes, Faith, faith. <laughs> Believe it. Yes, Listen to this. Yes. Turn with me to Proverbs 24. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. You're doing good, bro. In the Proverbs 24. And always 10 read. If you faint in the days of adversity, your strength is small. Wow. If you faint in the days of adversity, your strength is small. Listen to this one. This is the voice translation. If you fall apart during a crisis, then you were strong enough to begin with. Great God. Think about it now. Think about it. Think about it. I know what it means that. Read that again. I know what it I can read it again. I know what it means that oh being what's mopping up the water and then um the, the, the boards them start the water start eating the boards. Yes, sir. I said, my God. There's some other things I would say, but I can't say it on the camera. I can't say it on the camera. But listen to this. If you fall apart during a crisis. Then you are not very strong to begin with. Christian, we supposed to be strong. We supposed to be strong. No other choice. Ain't no other choice about the matter. We supposed to be strong. No weak, no jelly back, no. No, no. How are we going to respond to adversity? And listen what they said. Adversity is a pivotal moment in our lives that call for some kind of response. Yes. 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 They call for some response. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Listen here. No, 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 no. I'm not a violent person. But I kill mosquito. <laughs> I kill fly. <laughs> I kill roach. <laughs> I could kill mice. Oh, but I don't love those big rats. I don't love the big rat. And I believe if I corner one, he know he can't go that way, so he have to come back this way, right? I don't think he coming to growl. See now, he have to respond. He have to. So his respond is that, now, this gentleman might kill me, not him knowing that I afraid of him, but he have to respond because now, if this out, he have to respond, so he have to come this way to escape. Yeah. Meaning that even if I have to die, I still gotta do something. Yeah. I still have to respond. Yeah. So when any time a situation come, when adversity come, what are you going to do? Yeah. Are you are you going to respond? You better respond. Because you have to do something. Yes, yes. Yes. Right, and that's what and that's what the devil does. Try get in a corner. Yes. Yes. Like, I don't want you to move. Yeah. Yes. Paralyze. Well, listen here. What we think. Listen here. Just how Bishop talk about just how we use that word paralyze. I try my best to be joyous. Yeah. One of the reasons why is because <laughs> I know what it means that you have this enemy. This enemy tugging you. Telling you, yes. you're gonna die. Yes. So you all might know what that means. Mm -hmm. And then bring these thoughts to you, just like your best yeah. friend, yeah. just yeah. like your best friend. Yeah. And I mean, and listen, you Real talk. I almost was paralyzed, carried up burden for a whole year. And then sometimes you have to catch yourself, you know. Yes. He yes. didn't tell me this a year ago, and I said, yeah. Yes. 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 You have to figure out something. So why I have to be paralyzed or try to paralyze me, knowing the fact that I got God word. And you know he ministered to me and so forth. But anyway, but as 
listen what the Bible said of, on the definition of adversity or crisis. This is the 1828 Webster Dictionary. All right, sir. Define adversity or crisis yeah. as an event or series of events which oppose success. Right. That's what it does. Yeah, this corona down now and you ain't working what to do. You find a job. You don't wait for the government. Because if you wait, Man, there's so much things you could do. Yeah, that's true. I hear down my car, but boy, listen, young. Boy, if somebody is processing, I gotta give them money to clean my car. <laughs> Jobs out there. Yeah. Although they said a hotel, a hotel don't have to be your God. Oh, no. You can find something else. Yeah, like, what can you do? It also defined this crisis or adversity as it also defined as that which causes misfortune, calamity, affliction, distress, or a state of unhappiness. That's what adversity do. Bro, that's why I stay happy. Thank you. I stay joyous. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to be just as young as Pastor Eleanor. Amen. 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 I can be joyful. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. You know, you know, I like to pick on the saints. Saints are some people I don't know. All of a sudden, they joy going when they leave church. They joy going. They want this jump up message. They want to swing on the channel and all that. And when they go to that door. Yeah. How could you be that grumpy? <laughs> How could you be like um? If you all see me joyous and all of a sudden they're like this. <laughs> I can imagine you all look like Pastor Randy, mother-in-law coming and moving and can live forever. <laughs> Listen to this. John 10.10. 10. One of my favorite scriptures. Jesus speaking here. He said, Satan come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundant. Amen. Now, I don't have to be a Greek scholar, Pastor Eleanor. I don't have to be a Greek scholar. And I know for a fact that according to Jesus, the devil steal, he kills. And he destroys. I know that for a fact. Because that right there in John 10 10. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life. Now, if I don't know the Greek term for life, I know one thing. It has to be the opposite yes, sir. of what the devil does. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if anything yes, steal, I come to give back. Right. If anything yes, kill, I come to resurrect yes, or revive. Amen. And anything that destroys, I come to rebuild. Yes, yes that's what he come to do. So I don't have to be no Greek scholar. Oh no, the Bible is so simple. But we make it hard. Great God. So what do Satan steals? Let me tell you what he steals. He steal. He tried to steal for some of us. Oh, yeah. Our joy. Yeah. That's what he's. Boy, listen here. Don't preach my message. Don't preach my message. Don't preach my message. Jesus. That's what he steals. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody try to steal your joy. Yes. And, and, and I know, and I know, um, we would say, listen here. Right. Sorry, they finished. <laughs> listen here. It is not, now we do not fight against saints. We don't fight against flesh oh, and blood. Right. We don't. When your joy getting zapped, it ain't your spouse. Oh, no. It ain't your boss. Oh. It ain't that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? It ain't your kids. Oh. It ain't your kids. Oh. You know, I learned a long time ago. <laughs> I learned a long time ago. I think my very first PDA meeting, my very first PDA meeting, I, um, I showed up and I asked the teacher, I say, Mom, how much kids in your class? She tell me, none. I say, 
how do you deal with nine kids? I have one child. Jesus. And he just draining me. <laughs> and this year, when she told me this, the secret, when she told me this, I was ever free. She said she go along with the program. Uh -huh. When they make noise, you make she up. make noise. Yes, sir. When they sleep, you she sleep. sleep. Yes, sir. I know, okay? Yes, sir. I'm feeling light and on. Yes, sir. Problem solved. Yes, sir. Problem solved. Yes. It's easy, man. That's right. Even natural things easy. Yes. Melissa Lisa, even natural things easy. Yes. Never have no more problem. Yes. Call it all the program. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. When they watch, yeah, she said, when they watch cartoon, they have me watching cartoon. <laughs> Proverbs 24, 10 again. If you think in the days of adversity, your strength is small. So how, church, or preach my message, how can, I, how can you build your strength? How can you prevent your strength from being diminished? How? How? Nehemiah. Nehemiah 8.10. You either go to your table of contents. I, I got that behind you. I printed the scripture on my notes. <laughs> Nehemiah is a minor prophet now. Amen? I should have put the page down in your Bible. But anyway, Nehemiah 8.10. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portion unto those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto the Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, sir. That's what it is, Pastor Eleanor. That's what it is. So the devil, who's our adversary, want to steal that from you. He's after your joy. So even if I didn't get nothing in 2020, he can't take my joy. He can't take my joy. No. Now, saints, I don't want you when you leave out here, you, you talk about it, yeah, because you help preach my message when you walk out these doors. You let him come right in, he slip right in. Slip right in. And take your joy. I just gave a little piece, I just gave a little piece, and I take it off. Well, I ain't giving him nothing. No, you don't give no place to the devil. No, you give me. You can give me an inch, you can take a mile in. No, no. You must not allow the adversary to steal your joy. That's what he's after. Turn to Psalms. Psalm 16. Yes, ma'am. Psalm 16. 11. Thou wilt show me the power of life. Yes, sir. In thy presence is what? Fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasure forevermore. In this what? Now, that's it, sister. Are we in his presence? Are we in his presence? Because if the devil could steal my joy, now I know how to get joy. It is in his presence. Fullness. Fullness. And one time ago, I was like a serious Christian, no smile. They tell me that's the only way you be spiritual. <laughs> Until I got a revelation, he made me. And when I look in the mirror, I see some funny things about me, and I say, you know, God has a sense of humor. <laughs> he has a sense of humor. You know? <laughs> I just can't stay there. <laughs> Nothing else to say. The, this other translation say, You make known to me the power of life. Abundance of joy are in your presence. Eternal pleasure at your right hand. 
Go and have abundance of joy. Abundance. My God. And that's what we saints need. This joy because what? Satan just snapped it away from us. He just take it away from us. And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I say, why? Saints ain't happy. I'm saying now, I wasn't like Bishop who got born again at the age of eight. No. 13, 13. Man, I was eight. I wasn't even close. <laughs> so, so I wasn't like him. So, so um, I had to grow this out, grow this out. The only set of people who ministered to me was um, the Jehovah Witness. And your parents tell you, run from them, don't answer the door, and so forth. Yeah, yeah. You better run. <laughs> and then, you know what? When I was living on my own, now I say, oh, let me see what I'm running for. So I invite one in. I mean, me and my brother have talk. And I say, brother, I can agree with this. I don't agree with this. I definitely don't agree with this. But anyway, I can probably agree with it. And we had our Bible study, and I show him, you know, and then I said, this ain't going to work anymore. Because me and you are two different parts, brother. Yeah. Yes. You know, it, it just, you know, but now I don't have to run anymore. No. You know, when your parents said you were running all that, you know, you know, so they was the only set of people who ministered to me. Baptists didn't come, and so forth, so I don't know. So, all I know is, um, I'm, I'm very, 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 I did not say I wanted a serious church, you know? They're past Eleanor. They mean well, but they were serious. Serious, serious. <laughs> serious. Yeah. Really serious. I, I get you, bro. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. For well, a minute, I feel like I was there not swinging on the channel. <laughs> anyway. But ask yourself are you truly spending time in God's presence? Because here it is now, we get the antidote of how we get the secret on how to be full with this joy. We know that the devils could steal this joy, and we know where to find joy from. You don't find joy in Pastor Randy or Bishop Sheldon. No. And it's a decision you have to make. It's a decision you have to make. It just said being born again. Jesus died for everybody's sin. The good, the bad, and the not so good looking. He died for all. But now, that individual, or all of us here, have a part to play. Because although he died for my sin, it's something I have to do. I have to do. And you have to do. Yes, sir. See, you always have a part to play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So salvation yes, just can just fall on you. Oh, no, no, no. Thank God God made a way. Jesus. He sent his son. Yes. Go back, um, I go back religious. And, um, I didn't know much. And so I thought that you have to be serious, you know? <laughs> you have to be serious. And then I found out... Joy is in the Bible. So I can have a joyous occasion. You know, I was so bad. I experienced God like never before. Listen to this now. Um, in the church, they used to, um, I would call Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. And they would have been having fits and so forth. And they hear all, they hear to be so nicely. You know, woman, when you come out of the church, look okay, at you be fighting the devil, but anyway, you know what? And so forth. So now listen. So I ask myself, I ask myself, I say, oh God, if I get this Holy Ghost, why is I driving this car? I did. No, I ask me, I, I said, and I was scared. Because I, I said, I get this. I did. I feel like I go on the bridge and you know how good God is, you know, you can put this all he goes with you when you go on the bridge. You know? And I say, I didn't die. 
No, it may sound funny, but honestly, just what I was saying. I'm Dan. His friends and skin. Listen. And I was in full control. Amen. Brother Clark, I was in full control. Amen. I think if I was, um, what it is, if I was racing a car, I was going to win. With his presence on me, carrying on. Because yes. I was in full control. Yes. But that's what I told. Next, they didn't want our Holy Ghost, but they had. <laughs> but I'm just saying that's just how religious I was. Wow. Amen? And so, but then I find I can have joy. Right. Joy. Joy unspeakable. So, so now, I don't have to be my face all banner. No, what? I don't have to fall apart like a $2 suitcase. For what? Because I have this joy. Amen. And I don't show my own shit like that to the rock So If somebody give me some good news um, last weekend, and you wanted to rebuke me, <laughs> tell me, <laughs> you ain't joyous. <laughs> I ain't doing car deals right now. Uh huh. You just respond different. I don't respond like this to a pastor Jay. No. Pastor, I know who's running out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm doing car deals. Yes, sir. Listen. Yes, sir. My spirit. My spirit can't wait to get out of this body. Yes, you know, yes. That's just how energized he is. Right. But I don't show it like you all, but then. Don't hate me. <laughs> Don't hate me. Yeah, it's just different. Minister Lisa, it's different. I just church did this. So I blame all of y'all. <laughs> I blame all of y'all. But I just as... Listen, you're high joy, sister. Do you? Do you? Joyous. Do you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you, sir? Do you, sir? So we have to make this quality decision. So we find out, listen to this, in God's presence you will be revived yeah. and empowered. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You'll be revived yes, sir. and empowered. Yes, sir. I thought that when I get round, Bishop, not now when he in the Holy Ghost now, but when I get round, I thought, I thought now we're supposed to be, oh, this is about to be serious. You know, stand attention. Even when you're walking on your bed march, you know, I thought that. Oh, but then said, Pastor Chandler, they let me fly. They let me fly. You can pluck all my wings and I still can fly. Yeah, because some of y'all ain't sure y'all always serious. That's a different for a police officer to be serious. But be, and he's right with it. but be Christians, supposed to always be joyous. It's supposed to be contagious. Amen. Man, he just points his step in the room. Oh, yeah. A smile supposed to, you know? And you're supposed to be bent up like the sun. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Why you preaching so good? Mm -hmm. You just make that decision. Yes, sir. I'm going to stay joyous. Thank you. Listen here, that same scripture, watch it, the scripture, that's uh, 2 Timothy 3. Paul said, when talking to Timothy, down at verse 10, he talked about the persecution and the affliction. And you know what he said? The Lord deliver me out of them. What is them? The persecution and the affliction. Although we have four more days, listen here. Come on now. He still got more stuff for me, and I want to wait. And then the next year, if I don't get on, I get in that what I'm supposed to get from last year, and I get what I'm supposed to get in 2021. Yeah, and you know what? Boy, you can be the joy of the Lord. That's what it can be. But ask, you know, ask, right? Ask three. So repent. Listen to this to amplify. Classic amplify. So repent. Change your mind and purpose. Turn around and return to God. That your sins may be erased, which is blotted out, wiped clean, 
that the time of refreshing, what it is, of recovering from the effect of the heat, of reviving, yeah, and reviving, refreshing, uh huh, what else? May come from the presence of the Lord. His presence. His presence. So listen here. This year, we didn't spend that much time with God. 2020. That's how you're faking your bill. You have to be in God's presence. You gotta be in this world. And I know you always hear this from me all the time, but boy, now would be a good time to start it. Why not? You start now. You start now. Don't forget that. Now, so you tell me what time yet, but I can start closing. Listen to this. Habakkuk. Yes, sir. Y'all know that scripture is? Yes, sir. They help us out in the Bible now. It's just a little. They put all the T's together. Timothy, Titus. They put all the M together. Mark you, Mark. They put all the H together. Habakkuk, Hebrews. No, no. No. <laughs> Habakkuk. Or Habakkuk. However, you all want to pronounce it. And this, this verse is three. Chapter, chapter three, sorry. Chapter three. Now, this he in a situation here. The brother in a situation here. Now listen to what he can say. He can tell us his situation. I can tell you right now. That's Psalm 17. Habakkuk 3. Listen to this. I'm reading out of the 21st century King James Version. You know how those brothers them go. You got 21st century King James. You got the new King James. I'm King James. You got those brothers them. But I read out of the, the last brother. Okay. <laughs> It says, although the fig tree shall not bloom, neither shall the fruit be in the vine. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields should yield no meat. You hear that? The flock should be cut off from the fold, and there should be no herd in the stock. Now, listen here. Listen here. Yet I will what? Rejoice. He still can rejoice. You still got four more days and you still ain't see nothing. Still rejoice. That's what you do. Put it hard to rejoice. Put in the presence of the Lord is abundance of joy. Boy, I really wish y'all could see it. I really wish she could see it. Something like this, you have to grab this by faith. I'm going to lean in when I say grab this by faith. I'm going to lift this. I'm going to act this out. Why, why do you think they smile so much? Because the joy of the Lord. Amen. That's why. That's why. Why are you doing so good? When a patient died, let when a patient died, you still let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. You don't let people define you. Oh, no. You don't let people define you. Oh, no. I, I, and that's how the world system operates. They put you in that mode and they want you to be like them. Yeah. And you know what's so sad too? Yeah. The, the unbelievers, them, boy, they so joyous. Yes. Yes. Thank you. They so joyous. Mm -hmm. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Listen to this next translation. As for me, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will find my joy in God who delivers me. That's who delivers you. When you're going through. When you're going through. Yeah, but the double double didn't come or just didn't come. Listen here. Yeah. You rejoice. Yeah. Anyway. Because yeah. it ain't over yet. Yeah. And you know what I can do? I tell you when. And you know what I can do? I tell you. You write down what you're supposed to get this year. 
and then you, your best life sister, ain't nothing wrong as a Christian being all this. No. Just in covetousness. <laughs> and, you know, just don't covet. No. But listen here, ain't nothing wrong because we serve a big God. Let me tell you how big he is. He saved me. <laughs> I can tell you how big he is. He saved me. I remember one of the gentlemen where he used to wait. He tell me, say, what do? How did you get saved there? Eh? I just hearing him say that. Then I catch myself too. Oh yeah, I did get saved. <laughs> That's what make him big. Meaning that when he have to create a miracle or create something for you, it ain't like the light skin dim in heaven. No, he's powerful. Um, I bought this machine a couple of years back. It's a grill machine, pastel and all. And um, I think the only thing I cook in that is from barracuda. I cook some barracuda. Oh, that tastes good. But that machine is an indoor grill. And boy, when I cut that on, the lights start dimming. So you know that's taking a lot of power. Yeah. But in heaven, that don't happen. No, no, the don't no, that, no, the lights don't dim. Oh God, I'm the form of something over here before. You probably have to run on the treadmill or something like that. And then, oh, no, you're not powerful now. Let me get more cup. No. No, 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 no. No. He will deliver us. But guess what? You can have to rejoice. You can have to be joyous. You have to watch that snake, the adversary. Watch him. He will take your joy. He know what, he know what I'm, What's supposed to be yours this year? Yeah. This, 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 that we're talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're just trying to take your joy away from me. Trying to zap, 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 zap. No, 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 no. 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 You let him know. You little snake. Because you're only a little snake anyway. You let him know. And you've always been, listen now. You're on the defense, right? But you're all for the devil, not for people. Because I never want you to think that, um, or is money who against me? No. no. Or is my spouse? No. No, it's the enemy. No, it's the enemy. That's, That's what you have to that. know. Thank Once you recognize that, Thank you. Yes. you have to recognize him. Yes. Don't let, don't be deceived because he is a deceiver. <laughs> Another scripture, Proverbs 24, 10. But, but, but we read, but listen what the message translation say. If anybody should have had no joy and no strength, it should have been, ah, uh, what did I read it? There are Proverbs, I'm supposed to read the message of the Proverbs 2410. Oh, the message, where is it? Message translation, what oh, the message translation? If you fall to pieces in a crisis, you got it right. See it right here. And some Christians just fall to pieces in a crisis. Bishop say a five dollar watch. I, I'll say a two dollar suitcase, but you know, either you're rolling, rolling, and then all the wheels roll off and so forth. Some of us we know how to fall apart. And, and, and listen, and ask your wife. I kind of should tough when it comes down to, I, I don't like to see a Christian great man. Oh, I don't like to see that. It just do something to me. You know how Bishop said he don't like ignorance? Yeah, I don't like to see a Christian great man, clean and un. No, I don't like to see that. I, I don't like to see that. I like to try and move quick because they, you know, misery like company, you know, they just throw under you and all that. No, no. Jesus, Jesus. That, that, that's right this way. I rebuke you. <laughs> no, no. We don't want no. No, I, I don't like griping. Yes. And I don't like Christian playing the victim. That's it. No, I don't like that. No. No, 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 no. Christian, no, no. Victorious. Yeah, man. Be victorious, man. You know why? We got Jesus. Yes. He died for us. Yes. Preach, brother. Preach. James. Remember all the days together? James, John. Jude. James chapter 1. This is the message translation. Consider the shared joy, friends. That's on verse 2 and 3. James chapter 1. Consider it a, a shared gift, friends, when tests and challenges come 
at you from all sides. I don't understand this if it comes from both sides. <laughs> well, consider it a sheer gift. Oh, but when tests and challenges come, it's a gift. You telling me Corona is a gift? But listen what I say. Listen. <laughs> a challenge come, consider it a sheer gift. A sheer gift. When tests and challenges come at you from all sides, you know that under pressure, your fake life is forced into the open and it shows a true color. That's what happens. Uh huh. But you gotta have that faith. So when it do come, you better speak to that mountain. That's what you do. You speak to that mountain. Yeah, but they speak to the mountain. The moment you ask me that same question, but the pastor and they speak to the mountain. It sounds like you're in doubt. Because the scriptures say, yeah. And you don't, it can happen. You, you speak to that mountain. What are we going to have to do? Thanks. Okay, so I could go up with it. Adversity has a way of revealing what is really right. on the inside of you. Yes. Yes, sir. But you are in charge. Yes. Of what you are in charge. I guess what I'll do that adversity. You know what? I coming out. Right. Smelling right. good. If I ain't a fire, I ain't come. I ain't I smelling ain't like no smoke. No smoke. No smoke. This here sings. And when you hear my heart. God love you. God love you. Now, this might sound be a revelation to some of y'all, and y'all might not hear this before, but listen. God love you more than you love you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, if I know he's in my corner, he could deliver me over anything. If I know that. Amen. If I know that he got my back. And he got you all back. Oh, but you yeah. just, if you don't hear nothing else, mm -hmm. hear this. Thank you, Pastor Randy. God loves you yes. more than you love you. And guess what? That's cool. Let me talk about me. I look in the mirror and I smile. So oh, this brother look good. Boy, I love me. And I found out God loved me too. I just want to say it like that, because then if I call some names, I don't want no one to get offended, but I can say this for sure. I look at me and I say, oh, boy, this brother look good. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to look and you have to, you know, then you look and then you know. Yeah. You do all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know. I got you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love me. Now I find out God loves me more than I love me. Yes. God love me more than I love me. I ain't mean, nothing wrong, eh? Um, it, it was in the Bible, I think, in, um, in, um, is either Genesis or Exodus or Leviticus, Numbers or Deuteronomy. You know, Moses wrote that book, right? And he called himself the meekest man. That's not like Friday. No. <laughs> Big again at that. <laughs> and then, you know, John. Oh, Jesus, love. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, but then I know why they put that there because the same way how I can say it, I can look in the mirror and say, boy, I look good. You know? I wish it was a mirror now. I just want to look at this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Saints, but you must spend time filling yourself with God's word. I said that, right? And being in his present, hmm. that's how we can stay in faith. That's how we can build faith. Amen. Don't let Satan steal your joy. No. By any means, get into God's present and refuse yes. to quit. Because we, 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 we quit. We quit. We love to quit. Yeah, we love to quit. We want to start diet January 1st after we don't eat that food. <laughs> yeah, you all know. Then we have this uh, Christmas, what is the name, resolution? Yeah. yeah, then, you know, I'm going on diet. Yeah. And then 
January 15th. Whatever that day is. Be stopped. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> be quitting you. If he said he can on diet, let's go on that diet. If he said he can read the word, he can read the word. Don't quit. Some of us don't quit our job. What about we gonna quit on God? Thank you. We make a decision. We come into church. What we can do? Amen. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 yeah, yo, yo, I don't sense the joy of the Lord on you Amen. And don't let it go. No. And remember what I said. Very important. You have to make that decision. You have to make that decision and say, you know what? I'm going to be joyous. Amen. I'm going to be joyful. Amen. I'm going to be where I reach, wherever I reach. Amen. They can know I reach. Amen. Listen here. I know how to break smile on some people's face who you think. I bet you say, um, they don't want to smile at all. They might have to take like some chisel just so this can go up. Well, listen here. That's a hard face. Man, I reach. The what? Yeah, but these people don't like to smile. But, oh, boy. Mr. Lisa, when they see you and all of that, they can't wait. The lady tell me, I am not taking your work until you smile. You know, sometimes walking up a flight of stairs, it don't be funny. And it don't be joyous, you know. So, sometimes I ain't in the mood. But they know how to pull it out of here. Because yeah. they know you always joyous. Amen. And it's amazing how we can say, Boy, I would love to be like that person they always joyous, but you can't. Because that in you. Thank you. That in you. Right to be happy. Amen. I don't let nothing, nothing, nothing take your joy. Amen. Don't let the bonus, if you ain't got no bonus, don't let it take your joy. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So don't let it take your joy. <laughs> Listen. Our boss is not our enemy. Our spouse is not our enemy. Bishop and Pastor Jan is not your enemy. They is not your enemy. Pastor Randy is not your enemy. I love each and every one of you all. Listen here, and I learned that in him. And I will brag about it. And you can hurt me. You can talk bad with me. And so forth. It's amazing, you can't tell me in my face and say, I love you and me, come here. And you're pretty self over here. No, that's me. I know what it means to be joyous. i glad I'm religious. Amen. And I always remember, hmm, oh God, to live with me. And still wicked on me. And still wicked on me. And, and, and um, I used to be this bad temper, love fighting, and so forth. And then when he came in, all change, man. And still working on me. Amen, amen. Still working on me. Amen. God is good. Oh, yeah. And every time I come over, I only get to talk about his goodness. Amen. That's all you can talk about. You know when you get delivered? Well, listen here. Amen. Now I love people. Wish I could just have a big arm and hug everybody up. <laughs> and you need help. I know you need help because if you come from an environment where it don't show love, it don't show love. And I hear that I read a group of people who love people, my leaders that love people, yeah. and they can talk strong and they still don't want it in love. I enjoy that. But some our boss will cuss us like a dog and yet we still cut the way. That's right. That is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have people in here who love you who wouldn't cuss you out. And who build you up. And we won't be mad at them. And we won't have to lead and to leave. Knowing that all this is is love. But I know sometimes we, can't, we don't know what good treatment is when, you know, we don't know. So we have to learn this. And that's why we come here. That's why I can't miss days from church. And, I don't, I, and, and people tell me, boy, are you faithful. Yeah, I know. But then I know why I come here. Amen. I don't want to come here sometimes. No, no. Boy, but when I hear afterwards, oh, God, I'm glad I came. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. Amen. 
Yeah. Even less two days a week you get cut, eh? Yeah. I, I, I miss church, you know how I feel, young kids? I feel like I had an opportunity to take over the world and I miss that opportunity because I miss church. That's how I feel. I got the power to take over the world. The government now, the world. <laughs> so glad that you joined us for this time in God's word today. And we want you please to go ahead if you want to see other videos coming to you from Jesus Christ Center Ministries International. Subscribe to this particular page. Like us on Facebook at Jesus CCMI. And by the way, if you have prayer requests, please email us. Our email address will be on the screen in just a moment. Email us and let us know how we can pray for you. Until we meet together again around God's word, remember, Jesus Christ is Lord and divine love flows.